Hi, my name is Siri and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new. So today I'm going to be trying out a new brand and that brand is Kimchi Beauty. This is her. If you guys don't know, Kimchi is a drag queen and she has a makeup line. So I picked up two things from the brand. I first picked up their Taylor bronzer in the shade I Went to Maui, and then I also picked up their Pearls Gone Wild highlighter in the shade Hope. And so I will be trying these out today. So if you want to get ready with me and see what I think of these products, then just keep watching. So first I'm gonna start off with my base. I'm just gonna be using what's in my everyday makeup drawers. So the first thing I'm gonna be taking today is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation in the shade Mahogany. Okay, foundation is on. And if my makeup is like patchy anywhere, not patchy, if it's like flaky, like if my skin looks flaky, I am doing a peel right now. So I think my face looks good, but if there's anywhere where it looks like a little flaky, it's just my skin's peeling. Pretty sure I'm good right now, but just in case. So I'm going to be taking the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Concealer in the shade 4N and applying this under my eyes. And I forgot to say, I'm taking the Giorgio Armani Power Fabric Concealer in the shade 7.75. And I'm just adding a little bit of that on top. So next I'm going to take the Givenchy Mr. Light Corrector Pen. And I'm going to just highlight my face a little bit. So like my chin, my nose, and my forehead. Mm -hmm. I also do my mouth. I usually don't though. Now I'm just gonna blend out the concealer and then I'm gonna blend out the highlight. And then next I'm just gonna go in with the Laura Mercier translucent powder to set. And I'm gonna be taking my beauty blender. Okay. Now I'm just gonna take a tapered brush and just blend this out. I don't know if I wanna go in with this powder or if I wanna use another powder, Hmm, I might use another one. I'm gonna take the Black Radiance Banana Setting Powder and dust this on the rest of my face. Oh my god, I forgot to blend my lip. So the first product that we're gonna try out is this bronzer from Kim Chi. And this is the Taylor bronzer in the shade I Went to Maui. This is what it looks like. It is this beautiful, like, golden brown. It's not too deep, which is nice because in the winter time, my bronzer tends to look muddy. For reference, this is what my usual bronzer looks like. It's very dark. It looks beautiful in the summer, but it's just too muddy for in the winter time. And I just, around this time, my bronzer just tends to look off and it really annoys me. If you're wondering, this is the Anastasia bronzer in the shade Mahogany, and this is I Went to Maui. So they're two very different shades. They have two very different undertones. So this is I Went to Maui. This is Anastasia's Mahogany. So for this bronzer, I personally like to use a flat brush. So a brush I've been using recently is this one right here. And then I personally like to just like tap the product and then I'm just going to lightly sweep it across my face. It blends really nicely. The color is very soft on me. It's obviously not as harsh as the other one but it still does bronze my face. It's very warm, but it's not red, which I love. It just looks like you just went to the beach. So this is the side that's bronzed, and then this is the side without the bronzer. Next, I'm going to, just so that we can continue using the product, I'm going to bronze my nose with this. This bronzer is not too deep, so I can easily just Swipe it on my nose without it being too harsh. 
So next I'm going to move on to the eyes. I don't know if I want to do eyeshadow today. Ugh, I always do this to myself. So I'm going to do a little bit of shadow today. So I'm going to take the Givenchy Mr. Light Concealer and swipe this onto my eyes just to have something for the shadow to adhere to. And I'm just going to blend this out with my finger. And for shadow today, I'm going to be doing something very simple but effective. So I'm going to be going in with the Tati Beauty Textured Neutrals Volume 1. And I'm going to go into the Color Story Poet. And I'm going to be taking the metallic shade and literally just swiping this onto my lids. There's one eye. And now I have the shade on my lids. I'm going to take a fluffy brush and just kind of blend out the shadow. I feel like a lot of times we use like five plus shades on our eyes. And we forget that you can literally just swipe one thing on your eyes and have a whole look. Next for lashes, I'm going to be using the Monster Big Mascara from Lancome and then also the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. So I'm going to start off with the Monster Big first. And next I'm going to go in with the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. Do I want to put on blush? I might skip on blush. We'll see how I feel at the end, but I kind of like how this looks. So finally, I'm going to be trying out the highlighter. This is the Kimchi Pearls Gone Wild highlighter in the shade Hope. She has a bunch of highlighters, but they're a different formula. This is the only one currently out in this formula. So this is what the highlighter looks like. You can't really see the highlighter because of my lights, but it's just a pearlescent highlighter with a blue pink shift that sometimes sh it, it this highlighter okay whatever i can't really explain this highlighter so i'm going to apply it and then we'll talk so at first i liked this highlighter with this brush i use this in my fenty beauty diamond bomb video this is a fluffy blending brush for your eyeshadow but I found that I liked it for highlight. However, the last time I used this, I used my fingers and I actually like kind of liked it. So I wanted to try that method out again. So I'm gonna take my ring finger and I'm just going to swipe the product on. It's kind of like a, a creamy powder, like a hard pressed putty powder, kind of like the Fenty Beauty one. So this is not like a powdery formula. So I'm just kind of going where the light hits. And there's the highlighter. I'm gonna take a different finger just so I don't mess up the highlighter and do the same thing. Okay, the color is very hard to describe. In the pan, it looks like it has a blue shift and then a, a pink shift, but I never really ever see the pink shift, so I think it has more of a blue shift. But when I look in daylight, like how my makeup looks, I'll insert a clip of me wearing this in natural lighting. It looks like a pearlescent finish, but in artificial lighting, like looking at myself in the mirror and in the camera. It's very cute, it's very different, but it's not like pearl, like completely pearlescent. I don't think it looks bad at all. I think it's really, really cool. I think it's really fun for like your inner corners or as a topper shade. And I also think it looks really cool as a highlighter. Like I, I don't mind this at all. So finally, I need to do gloss. So I'm gonna be taking, I think this, this is my Dominique Cosmetics Gloss in Peach Tea. I'm just gonna apply a thin layer. Just for fun, I'm going to take a little bit of this on the bridge of my nose. Hopefully, I don't regret doing this. If you really want to, I could put this in my inner corners. For highlighters like this, I actually like a more like firm brush to get maximum payoff. 
It looks so cool. And I think that's all for this look. I'm not gonna do my brows. Don't feel like it, usually don't. So for my final thoughts, I'm first gonna start off with the bronzer, which is once again in the shade I went to Maui. Number one, I love the heart packaging. I think it's so cute and so girly without looking too tacky, but it still is tacky, but like in a cute way. They have like, I wanna say like five shades. I don't remember the exact amount. I do feel like they could go deeper with their shade range. This is, I believe, the second darkest shade. And the shade after this is more red, so that's why I chose this shade. It works really well for my skin tone. It's exactly what I wanted in a bronzer. This is exactly what I was looking for, which is nice for me. But obviously, there are people deeper than me that would like to wear bronzer too. So for the color, I would give it a 10 out of 10. I love the shade. For the formula, it does have some kickback. And so if you don't like kickback, you're not going to like this. But... It personally doesn't bother me. I just like to take a brush like this and I just like to pat it into the bronzer and it really does minimize the amount of kickback that you get. But when it comes to applying it, for me personally, this applied so smooth. It is not patchy at all. It blends so nicely and so I don't care at all about the kickback. Next, we have the highlighter in the shade Hope. Once again, I love the packaging. You can't tell because of my lights, but it's this like beautiful iridescent packaging. It's not just plain white, which looks so cute. And then it's obviously in the signature heart. This is a trip. And I hope she comes out with more shades that are like less of a trip. So in natural lighting, it looks like pearlescent as it should. And then in artificial lighting, like in this lighting or in like my bathroom. It has like this blue hue to it, but it looks really, really pretty. It's like blue slash like purple. It's like this mermaidy kind of fantasy. That's the only way I can really explain it to you. It might, I can't tell if it will show, if the blue is showing up or if the pearl is showing up. I think you can see a little bit of the blue. It doesn't look bad. And so I actually really like this. I would never buy this like, on purpose, but I, I think it's really, really cool. And since I already own the Fenty Beauty one, that is an actual pearlescent that is just straight up like pearly white, like diamonds, I don't mind that I own this one. I think it looks really cool. I think this looks so nice for like a night out or if you just wanna have more fun with your look. I think this looks so cool on the inner corners and I think this would look beautiful as like an eyeshadow topper. For the formula, this is that pressed putty, which is like the, um, Fenty Beauty highlighter and a lot of baseless highlighters have that same formula. You're definitely going to know that you're wearing this. It is like usually with baseless highlighters, they are more sparkly rather than like a sheen on your cheekbones, which I personally like. I mentioned this in my last video. I think that when I wear highlighter, I want you to know, like if I didn't want you to know, I would wear nothing or I would wear some type of a veil rather than a highlighter. So yeah, my favorite way to apply this is with my fingers and my second favorite way to apply this would be with more of a smaller brush to get a more concentrated amount on the brush and to really keep it where you want it. If you use a tapered brush, you're going to get more of a like blown out sparkly look rather than like a like more concentrated highlighted look, which I personally like the more concentrated look because it looks neater. I'm not going to like a festival, so I just don't want like sparkles randomly spread out everywhere. In comparison with the Fenty formula, I do like the Fenty formula a little bit more. However, I do still really like this. Um, the Fenty one's just like easier to use and it just layers really nicely. This one, once again, I personally feel looks best with your fingers. Once I started using it with my fingers, I did start to love it more. I just feel like that's the best way to apply it. Just like the Fenty Diamond Bombs, this has no base shade. It is a baseless highlighter, so it can work on any skin tone because there's no underlying color underneath, which makes it pretty universal. Overall, I really, really like this. Once again, I like to use my fingers for my cheeks. 
and I like to use like a more uh, firm brush for my inner corners. So overall, I love both of these products. I think they're very aesthetically pleasing to look at, and I feel like when you get very cutesy yet functional items like these, it just makes doing your makeup feel so much more fun and i don't know i just love these i think they're really cute and i thoroughly enjoy using them so that is all for this review i hope you guys enjoyed i know i enjoyed filming it i love you all so much and i'll see you guys in my next one bye my loves